Just take a look at this shot through our Hancock Whitney camera of the Crescent City Connection. The skies above the Crescent City Connection and across southeast Louisiana look about the same. Just a beautiful start to what's going to be a great weekend here in the Crescent City and across the area. Let me show you the big picture. High pressure has taken over control of our weather uh, all across the southeast United States, except over towards uh, parts of Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina, too, where the rain continues to fall. That low pressure area is going to make its way kind of up the um, kind of in a northeasterly direction of the eastern seaboard of the United States. And uh, things will clear out uh, as it continues to make its way in that direction uh, for the east coast. But uh, first, they're going to be dealing with some rainfall and some strong winds and probably some coastal issues with um, some, some, some surge as well. But here in southeast Louisiana, not expecting uh, any rainfall today or tomorrow. I think uh, most of the week is going to be absolutely dry uh, for the southeastern Lions. They're playing Abilene Christian uh, this afternoon. Some pretty good conditions for them as well. Some partly cloudy skies, cool and breezy, probably about 64 degrees uh, when that game gets started. Here in southeast Louisiana, though, as I put the model into motion, you'll hardly notice a cloud in the sky uh, for the rest of the day today or your Sunday. Pretty much into Monday, not expecting too much of anything to happen. The winds are going to shift around a little bit as we go from today and tomorrow, but only from the kind of northerly to northwesterly and then into your Monday probably a little more westerly. But right now, uh, the Superdome, well, Superdome looks great to me all the time, but some beautiful conditions wherever you are or wherever you're headed this morning. Your headlines for today, a sunny and cool weekend. Temperatures on the rise and rain chances remain very low. And in fact, they'll probably stay very low until about Thursday or Friday of, the, uh, of next week. Temperatures outside right now, anywhere from 2 to 6 degrees cooler than they were at this time yesterday, which means we're in the 40s across uh, southeast Louisiana. Some low to mid 40s across the North Shore, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, some mid to upper 40s down here on the South Shore. Uh, some uh, temperatures a little bit cooler than that across the area due to some stronger winds than what we had at 6 a.m. In fact, over at the airport, it's sunny, 47 degrees, but the feels like temperature is 42 degrees, so 5 degrees lower than the actual temperature. The humidity at 61 percent, that is a great number, and uh, I think this afternoon you're going to notice lots of sunshine. Temperatures from 57 to about 62 degrees, so sunny, chilly, a light breeze outside as well, and I'm thinking if you are following any of the college football games, kind of cold for uh, the Tulane game versus Temple up in Philadelphia, about 40 degrees uh, when they get started, and probably not going to get up much above 42 degrees this afternoon up in Philadelphia. Southern versus Jackson State up in Jackson, Mississippi. Some sunny and chilly conditions there at 2 o'clock. Uh, 57 degrees at kickoff and for the LSU game looking pretty good as well. Some mostly clear skies or clear skies at about 48 degrees to kickoff. Tonight for us here in southeast Louisiana, clear skies, cold temperatures, calm winds for the most part. And for the Saints game tomorrow, if you're headed to Tampa or you've got people in Tampa, things are looking pretty good over there as well. Some sunny skies, 68 degrees at kickoff, probably about 69 degrees when you are headed out of the stadium out in Tampa and here in southeast Louisiana. If you got plans for the game, things are looking good as well. Otherwise, mostly sunny, mild, light breeze, 60 to 65 degrees. Fishermen and fisherwomen, here's a look at your tides outside over at the southwest pass. 1.9 is the range of tide there. Not bad at all. 1.7 in Grand Isle, 9 tenths per foot over at the Wrigley's. And here's a quick look at your seven day forecast. As you can see, temperatures are on the rise over the next several days. We're back in the 70s on Tuesday. On Wednesday, mid 70s, uh, we've got that 77 degrees up to 80 degrees as a possibility on Thursday, but 30% chance of rainfall is back with us on Friday. Good looking for.